welcome to a new episode of Hallmark Heartbeats, a podcast all about Hallmark movies. I am your host, Camille. This week we are reviewing Hallmark's newest movie, the second movie of the Summer Night series, titled The Baker's Son, starring Eloise Mumford and Brent Doherty. The official synopsis, Matt's passion transforms his bread from lame to extraordinary. When his bread loses its magic, the island locals panic and turn to Annie, Matt's childhood friend and true love for help. The moral of this movie, in my opinion, is the secret to success in all endeavors is passion. There's an old adage that says, love what you do and you won't have to work a day in your life. Matt, Annie, and Nicole exemplified that in this movie. Matt's bread was bland in the beginning. To quote Annie, it tastes like bread. Nothing to write reviews about. Nothing to sing praises for. This missing ingredient wasn't love with another woman, which was implied throughout the movie, but the passion in his heart that was only unlocked by his best friend, Annie. There are bakers in Paris who have long lines of customers going out of his bakery. There are waffle makers in Belgium that is world-renowned. Simple people making simple food, like Matt, who puts their heart and soul into their product, that find success in what they do because of the passion that they put into work. Annie's passion is in painting. You would find her in the docks at the break of dawn working on her latest art piece perfecting it until it gets right. She also went to school, art school, in Paris for a year. This was something that she loved to do. Nicole's passion is dancing. When her boss tells her she's not good enough, questions her emotional depth for her ballet role, she searches for the answer in Matt. She inspires him to make review-worthy bread. Bread that brings tourism into the small island home. But she chooses to stay with her passion and leave Matt behind, leaving him in a position to find inspiration and passion somewhere else. Annie, the best friend of his life, reminds Matt his passion, his love, the secret ingredient to his success, has never been linked to a woman. It has always been in Matt. She challenges him to find his success his passion without Nicole, without her, since she sold her restaurant and is about to leave the island. After what I can only call as rage baking, Matt finds out he made the best bread in his life ever. He even made pastries, which is something he never did. He wakes up to all the men in town next to his bed, wondering what happened. When realization hits him, it's Amy. The bartender said Matt only makes good bread when he is in love, and that was the clue he needed. He was in love with Annie. Matt runs to the docks in hopes of catching Annie before she leaves the island. He even tries to jump in the water to try and get to her, but she never left. Coincidentally, Annie had left her passport behind, and she was still on the docks. Matt runs to her and professes his love for her, telling her she was the inspiration. She was the one he loves. And as proof, he gives her some of the bread he made that morning. The best tasting bread he ever made in his life. And they kiss. A little behind the scenes note. The last scene in the movie, where Matt and Annie are on the dock, was filmed the same day Brant Doherty's wife was in labor. Between takes, he was on FaceTime with her, checking in to see if he's a father yet. What an awesome memory to forever be linked to this film. I give this movie 2 out of 5 stars. It was okay. The storyline is unique to Hallmark. I don't think I can remember another Hallmark movie that has a similar storyline to this, only focused on bread, where a man's talents are linked to his emotions. I have seen a similar storyline to this in another movie I watched in middle school titled Como Agua para Chocolate. I recommend it, especially if you like foreign films. It's about a chocolatier whose emotions get transferred into what she makes, the desserts that she makes, and affects the people who eat the desserts. The inhabitants of the small island, Windward, I'd like to call them the Island of Misfits. They are hilarious, sort of like the Greek chorus of old. 
from the quirky mayor who has committed a felony crime twice of breaking and entering. Too loud, the police officer, to Tim, owner of a charter boat, and his pregnant wife, Mary. The town of Windward is its own character, an eccentric one. I debated for a while whether to put this on the podcast or not, but I put it on Instagram and Twitter. I have no shame in what I said. My biggest gripe in this movie is the misogynistic undertones in the movie. As previously mentioned, Windward's main source of income is tourism. Matt Spread brought in tourism when it, he was infatuated with Nicole. When she laughed, the men of the town, in my opinion, felt like they were willing to sell the women in their lives for money. They wanted to match, make Matt, so the bread can be good again and they can make money. Like, I understand if their intent was for Matt to find love, but in reality, it was all for the money, and I did not like that. Also, I am left to wonder if this is really love, if this really would fall under the category of a Hallmark happy ending. Matt only realized he was in love with Annie because his bread tasted better. He only realized the link when one of the townsfolks pointed it out to him that love was what made the bread taste better. Also, Annie is about to leave. She had no intention of staying. In other Hallmark movies, like last week's You Had Me at Aloha, the character chose to stay behind and be with the person they love. Annie didn't choose to stay. She forgot her passport. There was no indication she had planned on staying if she had her passport with her. Also, what happens now? Annie sold a restaurant. She was headed to Paris. What happens to Annie? If there is a sequel to this movie, I am not rooting for one, I would hope the writers address this in a realistic manner and not pigeonhole Annie to working in a bakery with Matt. That just seems to be an easy route for Annie to make. Some Hallmark news this week is that it's been confirmed that Tyler Hines and Lorraine Elena is going to be starring in the first fall movie titled Roadhouse Romance. It's going to be airing on September 11th of this year as the kickoff for the Fall Harvest Programming Event. Um, that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm a big Tyler Hines fan. I love his movies. I'm a huge fan of his. The I don't think the man can do anything wrong. So I'm excited that this will be his third. Is it? Yeah. Third movie in 2021. I mean, some actors, you know, you get tired of seeing them all the time, but more Tyler. This is a podcast that um, is a fan of more Tyler. <laughs> anyway, so next week, June 21st, I will be releasing a podcast recapping her pen pal um june 28th sand dollar cove recap with guest co-host Brittany stanley from the oi with the wb already podcast for the month of july it will be um christmas in july all month so i will be reviewing likely all hallmark christmas movies for the month of july um, in conclusion, you can listen to us on all Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Podbean, TuneIn Alexa, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. Follow us on all social media platforms, our Instagram page, Hallmark Heartbeats, Facebook page, Hallmark Heartbeats Podcast, and Twitter, Hallmark Heartbeat One. Buy us a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Hmark Heartbeats. We have two levels of membership. For one dollar a month, Americano level, you get to have a voice in the podcast. You get to choose which movie I review for weeks. Hallmark doesn't have a brand new movie. Like for five dollars a month, Caramel Macchiato level, you get access to never released podcasts. For example, 
The month of May, I reviewed Birthday Wish, starring Jesse Schramm and Luke McFarlane. For the month of June, I will be reviewing Christmas movie titled The Christmas House. It will be celebrating the Pride Month. It also includes raw and unedited footage of our interviews with the actors. All, link tree, all links are in our link tree in the bio. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. I'll see you next week. Bye.